Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now that we've finished off Divine Beast, uh, Vanaboris, let's turn off our Sheikah sensor, and let's go see, uh, read you about what we've done. Since we've done all that now. We have Abosa's Fury now, we're just going to make a few things different. I mentioned that we could take out Stone Taluses fairly well, but it's also pretty good against Guardians, so... It's just so good. Oh, you're back. I'm glad you're okay. Truly I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gruda people. They are once worn. They were once worn by Lady Obosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Obosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Divine Beast and Vinaboris complete. Let's have a look at our rewards. Daybreaker! This shield was uh, cherished by the Gerudo champion Obosa. The gold used to make it was handpicked to ens ensure a design that is both lightweight and very durable. Scimitar of the Seven, a famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion Obosa. It is said that when Obosa swung this sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. Now because these are very one-of-a-kind items, I probably want to also take pictures of them. Daybreaker. And... Snow, come on. Scimitar of the Seven. I probably won't care too much if they break, but I believe you can talk to someone here if they do break. To repair them. So, you just need to pay materials for them. So now, a lot of qu side quests have just opened up around the place. So we're probably going to have a look at a few of those. I I finally found a Vaux of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found happiness. But then, my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the guts of a Molduga. But I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but... Why would they want to help me? The Mol Molduga is a menacing beast. None who face one can uh, escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. I thought I'd finally gotten out of the, this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. Molduga? The Molduga is a monster, a terror, so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here in the Turuma Dunes and in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations and it tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it if, or even move near it. And you can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Medicinal Molduga. Okay, we'll have a look at that. Now, what else should I do? I don't actually know where all the side quests are. But I know of a few, so... Have you got a thing? Maybe? What's up, lady? <laughs> what you doing here? Um, I feel like I told you about this already, but the truth is, I'm growing a secret fruit garden here. But I don't, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret. I haven't even told Mama. Aww. I haven't figured out what I want to plant yet, though. Ooh. If I'm able to grow a lot, I'll share some with you. Okay. Okay. So that's not actually what I'm looking for. I know there's something around here that I need to do about with that. So. 
There's just so many Gerudo to go walk past and see if they have anything for me. Also, now that it's a new day, let's have a look at doing the secret password for this place. So I think it's G. Oh. I, mm, I'm going to make sure I don't mess this up. So I'm going to actually... I'm pretty sure I took a screenshot and I want to make sure I check that again. GSC. Diamond. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gerudo Secret Club, of course. Mm -hmm. Probably. And Diamond. Oh. Alright. You can come in. Oh. Hey. I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions. And I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. So, we have a little shop here, which is selling two types of armor. One, which is the Grudo Vo armor, which is very heat resistant, and it each each bit by itself is heat resistant, so that's pretty good for a start. And we also have, oh. I heard that's a special one, made using luminous stone. If you're interested, you'll need to uh, need to trade me the materials. Oh, and there's a handling fee too. The radiant armor, which makes you a little bit more visible when it's really, really dark. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But we need a lot more rupees and luminous stone to actually get that. So I'm probably going to leave this armor all here for now. Although I kind of want a little bit of this armor. How much is it? 65, 650, 1300, 450. Can I actually get those two? I think I can get those two. 650. Gerudo trousers. Gerudo made trousers for men sold rarely by the by Gerudo retailers. Sapphire is used in their creation, which harnesses the power of ice to make the heat the heat more tolerable. Oh. It's a precious item, so be sure to take good care of it. Desert Vo oh. headband. Gerudo made armor for males sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains sapphire, a gem that harnesses the power of ice to make the heat more bearable. <laughs> I'll make sure to restock for you. Saba, saba. Everywhere, uh, no, elsewhere it might be Savota or Savak, but here it's always Sav, Sav Saba. Uh, buy from me? <laughs> I suppose I could, but I won't be paying more than uh, any other trader would. Though I'd love to pick up something rare if you've got anything like that. Okay, well, let's sell some of my things. <laughs> now, how much do I need? I needed a fair bit, so let's just go a little bit all out somewhat. 900. Is that enough? That might be enough. <laughs> we each have something to hide, I suppose. Let's ignore that and move on to business. <laughs> Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Um, no more questions. Okay, I need a little bit more rupees. Oh. The bright light of the sun doesn't agree with me. I haven't paid my respects to it uh, for many years. Oh. Let me... See, I have some opals. I mean, what I need to sell. Probably not ten, but I'm gonna go ten anyway. <laughs> okay, let's buy this. I'm surprised I actually had, was decided to go with the whole armor then. Desert for uh, Spalder, armor for males sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains sapphire, which harnesses the power of ice to make hot climates more tolerable. I recommend pairing it with other clothing items from this, this series. So there we go. 
That's a pretty good start. Now, how are we doing for things? We've got three. That's okay. For now, it would be nice to have more hearts and all that, but still. Now, let's head over this way and see what's happening. Because over there, we can see a little, a little platform that we should recognize as a... Uh, an ancient Sheikah. Oh, hello. An ancient Sheikah thing. Hydra Mullen. Pretty sure I've already read about those, but it's interesting to just find them out here. Out here. Okay. Sand Seal Rally. Oh, and the orb's right there. <laughs> orb. Hey, 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 hey! That Sandseal Race trophy is obviously only for those who've proven themselves worthy. Call it with the Grabby Grabby. Finally, Tali. What do you want? The Great Tali doesn't have time to chat with just anyone. You see, now that the, the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Tali is busy focusing her energy for the Sandseal race. Actually, did you want to beat Tali's record? I'll warn you, they don't call her uh, Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Uh, Sandseal race? You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime, the world famous Sandseal racing. I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tali? You surf with a sand seal and race to the finish line, while also going through the arches. That's sand seal racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you're disqualified. Tali's record is 1 minute 30 seconds. If you can beat that record, that trophy is yours. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of sand seal racing champions. Tali here is a current champion. Will you try challenging her record? Of course. I forgot to mention, since you'll you'll be racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race. Okay. <laughs> Alright, payday. Enough talk, let's begin. A challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sand Seal Race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? Ding, uh, comparable compar beast of the desert. The sand seal is ready to ride. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 1 minute 30? While still passing under each under every arch. The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Okay, here we go. I don't know what I need to pass through. Like, I don't know if it's going to be very obvious which way I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to hope. That's one. It's fairly simple and straightforward. We just need to dash a whole lot to make sure we go fast enough and stay within the thing we can kind of see where we need to go by seeing where the next arch is this seems fairly simple so far though let's just keep going oh that one over there now I have to turn a lot Probably want to be dashing the whole time just to make sure we don't slow down too much. Okay, keep going. Also, I believe there might be a few boulders. Yep. Let's just go past them. Oh, there's some more. Oh, is that the next one? I guess so. Going past all of these enemies. But that up there is the finish. And it's like, way ahead of 
the other time. So he smashed it. Huh? One... No, oh, it's a new record! Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, when the holy jewel is offered onto the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone, not even to me, obviously. And yet, I sense a power em emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. <laughs> and so, a new champion is born! And for 10,000 years, none of them realized that if you just place this orb right here... A shrine would appear. Although I guess the idea is that they've tried that and it didn't work. And I guess it didn't work until the shrines had actually started glowing and awakened, I guess because Link activating the tower and all that, so... I guess it makes some amount of sense. It's a fairly easy shrine, though. Also, Varnaboris is now on the loading screen. And this shrine is so easy that the race that was fairly easy was the challenge the whole time. Let's open up this chest, get another radiant shield, and yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, kind of want to look around town a little bit more, because I believe, I'm guessing that somebody's going to tell me about something that I know about, but I don't want to, I want to, I don't, I want to find it naturally is the thing, without just going there. Let me also climb up this whole thing here, because I believe if I climb up to the top of some of this area here, there's actually a Korok somewhere. Also, I need to make sure I'm marking off shrines that I complete. So I don't get behind in that. Okay. Now, is there a Korok up here? Or am I just crazy? I am crazy. Cool. Good to know. That's a good, that's a good start. I'm good with crazy for now. Also, I believe... If we actually stand by these fountains... Possibly... Possibly, maybe. I might actually be able to swim up the waterfall. No. Huh? Sound the alarm! A fire has been detected. Capture him at once. Well, that did not work the way I hoped. Guess I actually have to climb up the whole way then. Hmm. <laughs> Never come back. Ah. Uh... Okay, I'll never come back. I'm definitely not just gonna switch costume right in front of you and then just walk past you again. See? I didn't walk past you, I ran past you. Anyway, let's actually try to climb this again. Because I'm fairly sure there's a croc at the top. Because there's always a croc at the top. That's just how it is. There's something tall, climb it, there's a croc. 
That's just, you know. Oh, please. Oh my goodness. Climb. 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 I command the climb. I'm surprised I don't want to jump too much. Just so I can save stamina a little bit. There's quite a lot of things that we... I, well, there's, there's a few things we can do around the Gruda town still. That could be useful. I just don't know how to do the thing, I guess. There's just so much stuff in this game. Trying to figure it all out is a little bit... A little bit of work. Um... Oh, wow. That's very deep, surprisingly. This is actually quite a cool monument, I guess. With the water flowing off of it. Now, I believe up here... Yes. Is a Korok. Like I said, there would be... Crazy. Well, there's that. Now, let me look at shrines real quick. To see which ones I have. It's not that I've forgotten, it's just that I want to... It's just, it's, it's been a while. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Just a little bit. Since I really don't. That's a big sand seal statue. Um, oh, there's a thing. Just going down the river, I suppose. But I think somebody's supposed to talk about that a little bit. I guess not. At the moment. So anyway, if we go up here, talk to this person. What's with you? How am I supposed to be enjoy? How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. Okay. But if we uh, if we follow the things when she throws it in. There it is. If we follow it as much as possible. Where'd it go? There it is. Wait, can I actually knock it? No, I can't. I'm pretty sure it's predetermined which way it goes. It'd be a bit weird if it wasn't. Seems to have a lot of trouble with the waterfalls though. It's going this way. And... All the way this way. Where... It reaches its end. In this water here, we can actually see quite a few in there. So now... Probably want to do something about that at some point. Probably. But I believe someone's actually supposed to talk to me about that. And ask me to... Stop her. Um... There's so many people around, but I don't... Th th not, none of them have the quest icon at the moment. That I can see, so far. So I don't know what... Needs to be done. Anyway... There should also be some people telling me about other things that I'm trying to look for. Well, that was a weird way to climb up that. Okay. Okay, there's a few people in here. Oh my. Oh, would you be interested in my cooking class? I'm sure even with that, with what you may already know from your travels, you'd learn something in my class. However, while I'd love to invite you to join us. I can't seem to remember the recipe for creamy heart soup I was planning to make for today's lesson. Oh. They say that a Gerudo who masters making creamy heart soup can master almost anything in the world. I know you need some fresh milk, one volt fruit, uh, one hydromelon, and two heart-shaped vegetables, mm -hmm. but I just can't seem to remember. Ugh. What was that heart-shaped vegetable? Well, I'm sure it will come back to me eventually. Can't afford to lose my momentum in life. It's not a quest, but it's a very specific hint. Now, do I have... What do I have for materials? 
Um, do I have everything? Hang on. I think I actually do have everything. Uh, let's just go ahead and light these fires then. Oh, don't burn. So, if I remember correctly from what she said, it was two volt fruit. No, one volt fruit. I forgot. <laughs> Hang on. Fresh meal. Okay, I skipped over it because I thought she was gonna. Fresh milk, one volt fruit, one hydromelon, two heart shaved vegetables. Do I have. I do have hydromelon. I just got some. Cool. Good. Okay, so. We get one hydromelon, one volt fruit, two hearty radishes, and some milk. Oh, really? Really? I was. I walk away for two seconds and the, the stove goes out. Okay. One hydromelon, one volt fruit. Two heart shaped things and some fresh milk. Cook. <laughs> Creamy heart soup. Enjoying this sweet soup with another person will bring you both closer together. Is she gonna know that I made it? Hmm. I was planning on creamy heart soup. Yeah, I know. I guess she doesn't know, but uh, we know the recipe now, so not that it matters too much. Also, that doesn't re re refill, it doesn't give you a full heal, which is kind of pointless then if it takes two full heals. Full heals are just overpowered compared to regular meals. Um, I'm really hoping to find Somebody who's got information for me. There's a little house in here, anyone? You're sleeping. And don't have a quest thing for me. Maybe... Someone just around? This might be bad. Just because I can't find... Anyone who's going to tell me anything about what I want to find? Hello. Uh. Um. Hello. My name is Risa. My favorite food is the salted rice balls. My Vaba likes to make. I've gotten very good at making them too. People say they're almost as good as hers, even. Wait. I should say grandmother's, not Vaba. And maybe not almost as good. Hmm? Hey, what are you doing coming in here? Yeah. It's really rude to just barge in. What I'm practicing? What? I'm practicing for getting a job in a restaurant, obviously. Obviously, right. Have fun with that. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Now, I've been completely turned around. I really can't seem to find anything. I really can't seem to find anything. It doesn't seem like there is anything that's gonna tell me to do things. Although, maybe... I'm sorry, but the Gerudo Jewelers isn't open right now. And Boris has calmed down, and the whole thing with the, tri the thieves has resolved. But my shop? What to do, what to do. Okay. I'm sure there's like... Uh, I'm, I'm like almost certain that somebody's actually going to tell me about this. I just don't know where. In here, maybe? I don't know if they're going to have a quest icon or not. Ah! Nobody in here. You're sleeping. Yeah, I might just have to give up on looking for people telling me things for the moment. I could just go to do things, but I just don't... It doesn't feel right just skipping over, over that. Anyway, 
I guess let's just go over to this tower here. And that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.